This tool that veterans can use not only helps you maximize your VA disability rating, which is absolutely critical, but the tool knows you in a weird Skynet Terminator type of way. That's what draws, seriously, I'm not kidding. That is why I love this tool so much because it knows you and it tailors the answers for your situation. What I mean by that is veterans can submit their claim letters and other documents like a DBQ and ask the chat why they were denied or what they need to do to beat the denial, what they need to do to get an increase, whatever that looks like for you. And instead of giving you a blanketed response, it gives you a tailored response based on your evidence and that part is the critical piece. Now, what I'm going to do is show you the claim letter that I uploaded. I uploaded this. I redacted the information here. Um, in this decision letter, this veteran had two denials. Okay, I wanted one for denials and one for approvals. This is one for shin splints, and you can see the reason for denial here. There's no diagnosis, and there's no in-service records. And same thing with the bilateral shoulder. You can see there's no diagnosis and no treatment records. Now, that's the claim letter. This is the tool. It's called Veteran AI. It is a great tool. And when you go to documents, you can upload your documents. And here you can see all denials. That's what I uploaded. And then it spits out automatically whatever your letter say. And you can add and change and do whatever you want with this. And so we are going to focus on these two here. Um, but food for thought, if you click review, it gives you the criteria. It basically consults you on your disability claim, which I think is pretty cool. And my camera died. That sucks. You don't even need to see me. Who cares? Um, whoopsies. But you go to chat bot. Okay, we're going to do a new chat. And this part is absolutely critical. Now, I'm going to ask the chat a specific qu question. What do I need? Let me capitalize that need to do to get my shin splints service connected and it's going to think for a second now let's see the answer now remember i don't have an in-service event and i don't have a current diagnosis and then boom um it gives me evidence and see this part here is the tailored response so it has the big three because i don't have the big three I'm missing medical evidence of a current disability. I'm missing evidence of an in-service incurrence or what's called an in-service event. Um, and then, of course, if you're missing one and two, you're definitely missing the nexus. But since your previous claim for shinsmith was denied due to a lack of clinical diagnosis and evidence from service, you may want to consider blah, blah, blah. It gives you some suggestions there. But it the tool knows your situation. OK, that part is what's great about this. I think I put um, let me just double check what claims uh, are on here. I think lumbar strain is one of them. If it is, we will get yeah, lumbar sacral strain. OK, let's go to the chat bot and OK, let's ask it another question. You don't you can ask questions. Multi, you don't have to go back and forth. I just forgot what uh, what approvals were on this profile here. What do I need to do to show a 40% rating for my lumbar strain disability that is service connected? Boop. Now let's see what, what pops up. Now I prompt this one specifically for a 40% rating. Um, and there you go. It basically pulled from 38 CFR in a paraphrased ver version. And then it also says you may need to gather evidence like a DBQ that would support that. Okay, now I'm going to ask it a more, that was specific. I want to see what it does when I ask a general question. What do I need to do to increase my rating for lumbar strain? So not necessarily 40%, but it could be 20, could be 50, could be 100 Right, we just want a general increase here, and I want to see what the AI is going to say. Um, gather evidence, document symptoms, request a, a reevaluation. That would be the increase. Consult with the VSO. I absolutely love how that the AI generates that piece. Um, and then it says by taking the steps, you'll have a better chance of substantiating your claim for an increased rating for your lumbar 
strain. And there we go. That's the chat bot. Now, this is something that the claim review here is a basic scenario. It's just mental health, radiculopathy, lumbar strain, two denials, and migraines that are pending. Um, but you can upload your letters here. You can go to claims. You can add a claim. You can do whatever you want. You can create um, nexus letters. You can create uh, personal statements for each claim. You can create a buddy statement, okay? If your buddies are, you know, they can't uh, articulate their thoughts that well, you can absolutely submit that. Um, help them write a buddy statement using this chat. This thing does a lot of stuff. But mainly, the reason I like this AI tool, ChatGPT does can do AI stuff too. The reason I like this one is because it has that. It knows you. The more information, the more DBQs you submit in here, the more claim letters you submit, you can prompt the chat bot to say, hey, based on that DBQ with this title, you know, what do I need to have an increase? And that is the reason this chat this AI, Veteran AI, um, which is a one-man show, okay? I'm going to have the creator on live stream here soon uh, to talk about Veteran AI security measures and, and a bunch of nerdy AI stuff. So if you want to join that, be sure to join that. Um, but yeah, this is Veteran AI. It's a great tool. I fully support this. And if you're looking to... If you're comfortable with submitting your own claims and you're looking for some help that's not going to break the bank, Veteran AI is absolutely up your alley.